Welcome to Sum Up TV on tour. I am here in the heart of Essex at the prestigious Dimeway Lindor showroom with two gentlemen, Charlie McLaren, sales director, Hi. and operations manager, Simon Skeno. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, how, how are you? Doing? Yeah, it's been a fun day being down here. And yep. night last night. And night last night. And we yeah. still got tonight. Uh, well, yeah, true. Yeah. Exactly that. So let's get to the crux <laughs> of why we're here. Sure. I really want to know why we now have a Steinway Lindorf dedicated showroom in the UK. Okay. Because it wasn't here before. No, it was not. No. Um, so we took, uh, we decided to open a UK company and sell both Lindorf Audio and Steinway Lindorf direct to dealer. Um, almost coming up to two years now, roughly mm. speaking. Um, but within that, we realised that to show off two brands, all with that have got plenty of products of so electronics, speakers, subs, and everything else, you have to show it off. You have to be able to bring a client or explain to a dealer it does this and show the difference between this and that. So yeah, we we decided within the business plan that there needs to be a showroom, and um, yeah, we also want it to be a bit special. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I, I have a very soft spot for this building it was a pain but i love it to be <laughs> yeah you lost 12 months of your life yeah, here I'm, I'm, yeah that's why i've got no hair anymore but um can i just say i wasn't actually here at this point so I you missed of, all the stress i bits. missed all the stress i just swanned in when there was a lovely building present simon that Literally. is you down to a t <laughs> yeah. just sort of like rolled in on the floor i was like this is nice isn't <laughs> it? oh look pair of model d's how'd they get there <laughs> well in fact that's a nice uh, intersection to what what equipment if I was going to come down here as a dealer, as a client, what have you got on show? Just give a little bit of a rundown of what you've got here. All right, well, I'll take this beer. You have the next beer. How about that? Well, you take downstairs then. I'll take upstairs. Oh, okay. All, all right. right. <laughs> it's a good test upstairs, as well. Upstairs, downstairs. Yeah. All right. Well, look, if I summarise it as a whole, we have 12 systems in total in here. Okay. Ranging from retail ink vat about £3,000 going up to about ink vat almost £300,000. Um, stereo... Stereo with sub, 5.2, full cinema setups. Um, so downstairs, we've, we've kept Lindall for audio downstairs and Steinway upstairs. We have felt the need to separate the brands because I think it flows a lot better. And for example, you might have a client coming in that only wants to hear Lindall. That's fine. We can yeah. keep them just downstairs and they haven't got to see the other stuff that's upstairs or vice versa. So that works really well. Um, downstairs, we've got things like literally, um, I don't know if you can see them behind my head, but there's a pair of, our onboard MH2s, just running off one of our, our amplifiers, almost like a multi-room scenario. Mm. Um, then we move on to having a pair of our CS1s, which are classed as an in-cabinet speaker, but they're full range, so you don't need a subwoofer. Most people are fairly shocked at what they do, right? We're out of the box, they're pretty... Well, it's just mad. such a good option, because a lot of people instantly go for that kind of in-ceiling option, whereas showcasing a nice, elegant pair of on walls yeah. or perform in that way is a yeah. good option and yeah. you can have like the, the the cs1s that are in the cabinet being full range you can have them as on wall and in wall as well so you've got options there so we can show that uh, then we've got over on by our design suite we've got uh, a 2.2 system with our on walls which is uh, mh freeze and bw freeze and then hidden behind uh, a cinema's media wall we've got uh, d500s which are our new in walls and we've got them with bw2 subs as well but most importantly down here everything's running from our electronics yeah so it's not just a case of right it's just our speakers and our subs and run off a multi remote from someone whatever else no it's got our tdai 1120s which is a complete unit streaming amp that does everything so it can do a pair of speakers a pair of subwoofers independently it's got room perfect which is our room correction on it it's got um, all your streaming built into it so it does airplay 2 bluetooth tidal, tidal connect spotify connect we actually won the award, didn't we? At yeah. Live last year. Yeah. yeah. It's a funny story. That's for another time. Um, <laughs> and then we've also got, as a showpiece down here, we've got our new Q100 loudspeakers as well from Lindorf, which are the new statement, top of the range model. Um, so there's a bit of everything. Yeah. It's, it's quite a cool room. I haven't gone into the cinema, which is technically downstairs as well. Yeah. But um, I think if we did upstairs, then we'll. Yeah. So, I mean, like what Charlie was saying, the separation of the two brands obviously it's important we, we have two brands under the umbrella but it's important for us to be able to showcase it in a concise way to a client when they come in with a dealer so yeah. as you go upstairs you you kind of split into two areas 
but then just in front of you there's a third area that shows a multi-channel system so we've got an s15 5.2 media room up there we needed a space to showcase that speaker because it is simply one of the most sold Steinway indoor speaker worldwide. Yeah. So it, it okay. really needs its own area. It's a simple 5.2 system, so we haven't gone nuts with Atmos, because obviously, like Charlie's going to say, with the cinema, that's where we showcase that. But it's an awesome space just to really showcase the level of performance you can get from a really sort of less is more type scenario yeah. with, a, with a media room. We've also got um, what we've called the OAB area, so not OAP. No, uh, yeah. No, no, no. OAB. OAB. Gotta get that right. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Sounds quite Thunderbirdsy, doesn't it? <laughs> Thunderbirds are good. OAB, OAB baby. <laughs> <laughs> but you like got... <laughs> We should go with that. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Or if we did AOB, Area of Natural Beauty. Only oh. you know that. Oh. Come on, yeah. guys. Yeah, in a perfect setting for it as well, where you have. Yeah, it is a very area. beautiful Touch environment. Let me but... finish. That oh, area, basically, we went with that spinny chair. So you can experience the O's, the A's, the B's. You can really hear the distinct differences between the range. So it gives a customer a great reference point from the floor standing. And then on the other side of the staircase, we've got the Model D's, which are... The statement. They are the statement. They yeah, are they just... Are two metres tall. Incredible. 250 kilos ago. We've Retail got price. Sits two, at just under... 250 two X VAT. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they're a serious statement piece. They, they were actually the model that got us the contract to say we could have Steinway and Sons written on the front. Right. So they Pretty important. They, they are, <laughs> they're the history. They are, they are why we are Steinway Lindorf. So, you know, we wanted to give them their own unique area. But also the listener to have that kind of selfish listening experience, wasn't it? Yeah. It was about yeah it's like not comparing it. it against other speakers. No, it's it's about, it. no, yeah, this this is is about you and enjoying two of the best speakers you'll ever hear. It's worth about. noting as well, even before we get to the cinema, that the showroom's been designed really it's been designed for end users don't get wrong we can show dealers everything right mm. that's fine but you know the way we've designed it is that it's got like single chairs everywhere because it's your it's your end user we're trying to impress no offense mm. to the dealers because you know that i think they'll get it when they walk in and hear it but it's designed for you know that client to sit down in the right seat yeah. every time and, and get it. and get the right you know system yeah. respect and same with the cinema like i'll touch on the cinema quickly it's it's actually two cinemas in one. Controversial, I know. Some people wouldn't have done that, but we, I know. I can I'm hear, sorry. I can hear the industry oh. scoffing. Yeah. Well, all I would say to the people oh, yeah. scoffing is come and hear it first, then scoff, because yeah. I don't think you're going to... I know quite a few people that do that. Yeah, that's, and anyway. let them. Let them come. <laughs> I will feed them. Yeah, Danish I'll, pastries. Danish yeah. pastries. I'll give them beer, and then I'll let them... That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or no, man. Oh, no, man. <laughs> um, <Yeah>. but, <laughs> um, but, like, the, the cinema is it technically it's one row it, you know we want to make it really selfish like okay client you sit down in the right seat and let's show you what we can do we've got a bar at the back so it is you know you could class it as two rows if you want and we could have fitted two rows in there but we thought why don't we do it properly mm. you know and realistically we still see what 75 percent of the cinemas tend to be either one or two rows yeah we we rarely rarely see more than that um so yeah that that system works great we've got a full-on lindorf ls1000 which is our new line source speaker from them in there running from all our processing electronics and then we've got a steinway uh iw66 cinema in there both yeah that's that is beastie um you know one's got six subs the other one's got four subs you know we've done it it spec well um but again they're complete systems so even the lindorf one it's all our electronics all our processing one comes in at uh, X bat seventy thousand. One comes in at one hundred and seventy thousand, and we okay. can flick between both with the press of a button. Are we going to do that for end users? That depends. If you know, if they if they're floating between, but and their budgets in between, then yeah, we can show them why they should spend more. Yeah. Um, and as well with the brand, like we haven't gone like the best of Lingdorf and then the best of Steinway. Yeah, of course. You can go further with the Steinway spec. You can go yeah. further with the Lingdorf spec. For sure. It's, it's kind of a middle yeah. ground between the two. We brands, have. Yeah, we're we're not showcasing just gone huge we've not yeah. gone like oh my god that's ridiculous to put that in there no it's actually what you would spec and the room itself is not big that's it's what we huge. tend to see it's like a double garage conversion yeah. which is you know the average okay and in terms of dealers clients can anyone come and visit the space are you doing any events within the space over the next six months what's kind of the we idea had discussions about doing events that we felt that when we were kind of getting to the stage of finishing the showroom, that the place didn't necessarily lend itself to having sort of big, massive 
event because we feel it's quite a private, intimate, intimate place, mm. isn't it? So we've we've actually invited dealers for their own private days, and we are booked up now for the next three months, basically, yeah. to get We're through busy. our dealer base to make sure that they all have the same experience of the showroom. And you want them to have that individually. You don't exactly, want people yeah. to be the, coming down here and... Like we just said about when the clients come over and making it personal to them and, you know, it's their demo... It's not a case that the showroom can't fit loads of people. It's actually quite large mm. space, quite open plan. You know, it's a, it's a big barn. You know, it's two and a half thousand square foot, I think, from memory yeah. with the mezzanine floor. And it's not like we can't fit. So, you know, just giving the sales pitch a little bit. We've got plenty of parking. Like, there's no problem yeah. with parking. Wow. I know. There's wow. a sales down. pitch. God. Like, forget okay. about the quarter of a million pound speakers. It's got plenty yeah, of parking. Bring your friends. Nice wide spaces now. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. no, yeah. and there's not even defined beige. You can park like an idiot if you want. Yeah, <laughs> like Ben did this morning. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <no. Yeah. laughs> Whoa. Um, so, I mean, yeah, we we could easily have a party here, but if it's your first time hearing the brand, yeah, we don't really want that okay. because I want you to come and hear it properly. Is this than... a case then of bringing the dealerships through individually, and then once that's kind of not necessarily out the way? But then it might yeah, be a case of one hundred percent. We want everyone that comes here to really get it and understand it, and also know the flow of it. Because there's often those experiences. We've both been in that world where you're running a demonstration as a, a distributor or a manufacturer, and you kind of feel like the dealer isn't getting as involved necessarily in the whole process. So if we can get them to a level where they really understand this place and feel welcome to use it with their clients, then it's it's the experience of them bringing their client here to experience what they have access to as a brand. You know, We want them to be involved in that process. So having that private time with them educates them on how the place works, not just on the kit that we have in here, you know. But yeah. we will have parties, I'm sure. Oh, we've, got beer, beer. we've got enough beer yeah, for no, parties. There's, there's plenty <laughs> planned. We've got, yeah, we've got all the beer you ever need. Yeah. But we, you know, we've got, we've got room to definitely have parties, have the food trucks out the front and all that. And I'm sure at some point we will do it. What we want to do is just make sure we get everyone through the door first, let yeah. them experience what they need to experience, and then we'll go into the big pie. But I think one important thing to mention in terms of an end user demonstration with the dealer is that when a dealer books this place for a demonstration with their end user, it will be that day. So even if they're here for an hour, it's not that we're going to then have another dealer booked for two, yeah. three hours later. It's They've made the they effort to come to here. Day, yeah. It's their showroom. If mm -hmm. their client wants to sit here for three hours in front of the Model Ds, have a drink and listen to what it is that they're potentially going to buy, so be it. Let them enjoy themselves. We're really close to Finchingfield as well. It's a beautiful little village. Mm -hmm very kind of quintessentially British. So you can feel comfortable as a dealer sending your client off after their demonstration to have a nice meal and talk about and kind of digest everything that they've they've experienced in the place. That's so really, really cool. Great yeah. scene. It works really well. I think everyone, it's tucked away for sure, which we wanted, but I think they're going to enjoy it. Okay, finally, who's to thank? Because surely... Oh, wow. Me. Yeah. Me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Maybe a bit of him. No, I am only joking. No, no. It, 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 there's a long but, list to be yeah. fair. And, um, you know, even even the delivery guys that came and helped to do things and stuff like that, we have to thank everyone. Like we've, What we've managed to do is bring together a showroom that looks really good, but we couldn't have done that with the help of without the help of the guys at Cinemas. Mm. Uh, you know, it's their panels everywhere. It's their seating and things like that. Um, also the physical build of the place yeah so, Andy and his team uh, Jesus the, the, put in, this place was completely open you yeah know? so all of the walls have had to be put in in a special way the rack there with the cable runs everything oh yeah Andy we're great to list this so we they, couldn't we couldn't even build the walls normally oh, we can't the, touch the floor so amazing to watch and we are yeah really grateful yeah for the him, him and him and his guys have done great and the panels that they've put on as well and the way the you know you have to see it when you come over here but the media walls should we call them that they've built really suit what we've done with the brand as well. So that worked really well. Um, and the manufacturing and distribution companies that have come together. I think the, the, the highlight moment for me as an industry, like the other day when Matt Nimmons rang us up and said, can you make this video for CBS to talk about the survey that they were doing? It's good to see on social, you see how the industry all come together. And it was yeah. like that with this place. People like HD Anywhere come to, come to us with, all of the HDMI cables and, and switches Matrix. for Matrix and all of that kind of stuff. FS cables with all of the speaker cable that's run throughout this building. And CAT. CAT and the CAT cable, exactly. Yeah. And then we got Lerva. Lerva yeah. came in strong with TVs. Yeah. Uh, Kaleidoscape. Um, all sorts, really. All, everyone came together. You know, even things like AWE really helps us with the projectors. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, they didn't need to. Um, 
very thankful they did. Thank you. Yeah. Um, but it, it was it was a case of I think we're doing something a bit different. Um, and although we're all competition, I think it can be friendly sometimes. And it's nice to see. You know, we'll happily return the favour if we can. Yeah. So yeah, thank you to everyone. Really, it's been great. And there's been a lot of support from our dealers. Our existing dealers have had to wait a year for this place to open. Yeah. So let me just shout them out now because that yeah, was thanks for your patience. Yeah, it was a long time, and uh, they've known we've been doing this for a while because we teased it, thinking it wasn't going to take us a year to build, which was a bit of a mistake. <laughs> but it, 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 they, I think the guy, some of the guys came over. You know, local companies came and saw what we were up to, picked up a bit of kit from us or whatever, and had a yeah. look round. Yeah. And they could see the work that we had to do. It was not. I've, there's literally no word of a lie. There is blood, sweat, and tears from us in here. There's I actually can, a stain still on the floor. Yeah, that, where, clean. No, no, <laughs> there's your when you cut your. Yeah, finger. I cut my finger a few times. <laughs> uh, like the day we had to lift the Model Ds up was the worst day of my life. There is no Best exaggeration. Day of my life, I didn't yeah. have to help. <laughs> As they got up there, who strolls through the door? Oh, yeah. Again, yeah. sounds like skiing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, we've had to lift things that we shouldn't have been lifting. We've had to do things that we didn't want to do. We've had to... We've had to do some hard work. We have... Yeah. yeah. It's tough, isn't Without it? Without being... I am shattered. Yeah. 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 It's, been, it's been a long road, but it is well worth it. Well, you should both be super proud of the space. Oh, thanks, mate. And I think if you want to come and see it, we'll drop the links below, get in touch with these guys, book it, whether you're a client whether you're a dealer, it is a phenomenal space and it's a beautiful place to actually get involved, sit here and experience and spend some time with it. So thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank, thank you. you.